Hello engineers, you already know lots of things about the user interface of Autodesk Inventor. So today I decided to talk about constraint. So without wasting time, let's get started. First I will talk about constraint options. Let's click on constraint interface scopes. Here you will see geometry in current command. I suggest you to select here all geometry because if you will select this option then you will be able to use automatically use all the geometries. So you might not understand the importance of this option but you will understand it in future when you will practice using this software. So let's select here all geometry then click on OK. And let's draw your circle. I just want you to draw your circle. It is showing here green icon that means it is permanent constraint. I already talked about this in my past videos so I think you already know. And if I will um, put my cursor here, just hold my cursor here then it shows here two few things. It is showing here name of this command which is line and keyboard shortcut. And keyboard shortcut is L. So if I want to use this command then I can also press here L to use this command. And after pressing L, after using a line command, it is showing here select start point, select start of line, and it is also showing here endpoint for tangent arc. I will talk about tangent arc in my future videos, but let me select here any point here. It is showing here yellow icon, so that is it is not come permanent constraint. So I will select here anywhere point. I will select another point to draw one line. Now you, as you can see here. It is showing here some dotted lines. Actually, these dotted locations are per, uh, inferred points. And it is also showing here uh, icon of perpendicular. That means I will be able to use here perpendicular constraint, which is permanent. So let's draw here any permanent constraint, uh, perpendicular constraint. As you can see, here, it is permanent. It is showing here icon of permanent. And Actually perpendicularness, perpendicular constraint is permanent but this endpoint is not permanent. Let me show you how it works. And if I want to check which is permanent constraint and which is not permanent then I can simply select here like this. And as you can see here I cannot change perpendicularness of second line with first line. That means perpendicular constraint is permanent. but this endpoint is not permanent because I can change it. So I think now you understand this and if I select a line command again and select this point then it will automatically take last lines constraint which is perpendicular constraint. As you can see I can draw here perpendicular line because it is showing here perpendicular constraint here I cannot perpendicular but if you feel like no I don't want to do draw here perpendicular line I want to draw here parallel line with this line then I can simply scrub this line like this and as you can see now it is showing here icon of parallel line so I can simply click here to draw here to use here automatic constraint so this is the way we can use automatic geometry automatic constraint and there is one another way in which we have to click on dimension then select here dimension of this and it will showing here diameter of this circle and it is not permanent it is not fully constrained and you can say that from here as you can see here six dimensions needed that means this is not fully constrained and if I want to make it fully considered then I will erase this. I have to escape from dimension and then I will simply erase this one. As you can see here now it is showing here fully constrained. So I think now you understand how to use all the geometry and constraint fully constrained on all of these things. So this is it for today.